here we go. So our progress report says we ended up at stage three, paragraph page 165. Our last head word was sad, newer type of lesson. Okay, hmm. so let's start with revision. Ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. First question. Do you send cards to your friends at Christmas time? Do you send cards to your friends at Christmas time? Yes or no? No, I don't send Christmas cards to my friends so, and my family. Very good. Do you send postcards to your friends and family when you go on holiday? Do you send postcards to your friends and family when you go on holiday? Yes or no? No, I, I don't send, send postcards post to my friends to and my family friends. when I go on holiday. Okay. Right. When you go on holiday, do you take photos with a camera or with your phone? When you go on holiday, do you take photos with a camera or with your phone? When I go on when holiday, I, I take on holiday, photos I take, with, uh, photos with, my, with my mobile phone. Mobile phone. Very good. What's the opposite of send? What's the opposite of send? The opposite, the opposite of send is received. Send is received. Very good. Do you receive more letters than emails? Do you receive more letters than emails? No, I don't I receive no. more letters, no, I don't. More letters than emails. I receive emails. fewer letters I than emails. Very good. Can you email people from your mobile phone? Can you email people from your mobile phone? Yes or no? Yes, I can email, email people. From Email people from my, from mobile, my mobile phone. Very good. Do you reply to all the emails you receive? Do you reply to all the emails you receive? No, no I don't reply I'm to all the emails I receive. I only reply to some of them. Very good. Do you generally contact your friends by texting them or by phoning them? Do you generally contact your friends by texting them or by phoning them? I generally contact I my friends contact by my friends by texting them very good if you want to send somebody a quick message do you write a text or an email if you want to send somebody a quick message do you write a text or an email if i want to send if somebody a quick message, somebody quick message i write a I text i write a text very good what's the difference between a house and a flat What's the difference between a house and a flat? The difference between a house and a flat is that a house is a building. Is a building. Whereas a flat is part of a building. Part of building. Very good. What do we call a building which is divided into many flats? What do we call a building which is divided into many flats? We call a building which is divided into many flats a block of flats it's a block of flats very good do you live in a house do you live in a house yes or no no i don't live in a house i live in a flat i live in a flat very good do most people in your country live in houses or flats do most people in your country live in houses or flats most people Most in my people country in my live in, in a house. very good how many floors are there in your building how many floors are there in your building there are five floors in my building very good is japan near england is japan near england no japan, no, japan isn't, isn't near, near england. it's far from england it's far from england wait is france further from england than china is France further from England than China? No, France isn't no, further France isn't from England. The... One more. No, oh, no. no, no. France isn't further. France isn't further th from, from England uh... than China. Than China. It's nearer England than China. It's nearer than China. Very good. Of these three countries, France, Greece, and Japan, which is the nearest to England? Of these three countries, France, Greece, and Japan, which is the nearest to England? Of those three With, countries, of those three France, countries, Greece, Greece and, Japan, and Japan, France is the nearest France to England. Is the nearest to England. Right. And which of those three countries is the furthest from England? And which of those three countries is furthest from England? 
of those three countries, uh, those three countries Japan, Japan is the furthest Japan, from England. The furthest from England. Very good. Okay, next. What do I say to you at the beginning of the lesson? What do I say to you at the beginning of the lesson? You say good evening to me. You say good evening to me at the beginning of the lesson. Of the class. Very good. What do I say to you at the end of the lesson? What do I say to you at the end of the lesson? You say goodbye uh, to me say, at the end of the lesson. Very good. Does January come at the end of the year? Does January come at the end of the year? No. January no. doesn't come at the end of the year. It comes at the beginning of the year. Very good. Does Saturday come at the beginning of the week? Does Saturday come at the beginning of the week? No, Saturday no, doesn't right. come at the beginning of the week. It comes at the end of the week. Very good. Is the sun shining at the moment? Is the sun shining at the moment? Yes or no? No, the sun doesn't isn't shining at the moment. Very good. Does the sun shine during the night? Does the sun shine during the night? No, the sun no, the doesn't sun shine doesn't during the night. Very good. Can we see well during the night if the moon isn't shining? Can we see well during the night if the moon isn't shining? No, we no, can't see we can't well see during the, the night if the no, moon the night, isn't shining. The moon is we shining. see badly. We see badly. Very good. Do you go to bed early? Do you go to bed early? Yes or no? No, I don't go to bed early. I go to bed late. I go to bed late. Very good. Do you get up late? Do you get up late? Yes or no? No, I don't get up late. I get up early. I get up early. Very good. Do the students generally come into the classroom later than the teacher? Do the students generally come into the classroom later than the teacher? No, the students no, don't the students generally come, don't come, generally come into the classroom later than the, the class teacher. Class they generally come into the classroom, into the classroom earlier than he does. Earlier than he does. Very good. Who gets up the earliest in your family? Who gets up the earliest in your family? I am the uh, I get uh, I get up I get the up, earliest. I get up the earliest in, in my, my family. family. Who gets up the latest in your family? Who gets up the latest in your family? My my father gets, gets up, up the latest in my family. The in my family. Very good. Is it light during the night? Is it light during the night? No, it isn't light. No, during the night. Like during the it's night. dark during the night. It's dark during the night. Very good. Is it dark in there now? Is it dark in there now? No, no it isn't, isn't dark, dark in dark here in now. Dark. It's light. It here in now. Uh, one more. No, it isn't dark no, in here now. Dark. In here now. It's light. It's light. Can you see in the dark? Can you see in the dark? No, I can't no, see no. in the dark. The dark. Very good. Do you live near a station? Do you live near a station? Yes or no? Yes, I, I... live in near a station. Is the station far from there? Is the station far from there? Yes or no? No, the station isn't far from here. It's near here. It's near here. Very good. What's a millionaire? What's a millionaire? A millionaire is a person. A uh, millionaire is a person who has a million pounds a million or pounds more. Or more. Tell me the names of some millionaires. Tell me the names of some millionaires, please. The names uh, of some millionaires of some are... are you and me and Bill Gates <laughs> and uh, Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Very good. Okay, have you got as much money as a millionaire? Have you got as much money as a millionaire? Yes or no? Uh, no. I, I haven't, haven't got as much money. I have much money. As a millionaire. I, as a millionaire. I've got less money than a millionaire. I've got less money than a millionaire. Very good. Okay, is Mount Everest very high? Is Mount Everest very high? Yes, yes. Mount, Everest, Mount Everest very high. Is very high. Are there very few people in China? Are there very few people in China? No, there aren't very few people in China. 
there there very, aren't very few there people are very few people in china. in china there are very many people very many in china people in china very good. is it very cold in africa is it very cold in africa no it no, isn't, it isn't very, very cold in africa. in africa it's very hot in africa it's very hot in africa is japan very near england is japan very near england no japan no, isn't japan very isn't near very england near. It's very far from England. It's very far from England. Do you get up very early? Do you get up very early? Yes or no? No, I, I don't, don't get up very early. I get up late. I get up late. Very good. Do you speak English very well? Do you speak English very well? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. I, I speak, speak English, English very, very well. well. Very good. Okay. What message do we generally write inside a Christmas card? What message do we generally write inside a Christmas card? The message we generally write inside a Christmas card is a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And a Happy New Year. Right. What does the word Merry mean in Japanese? What does the word Merry mean in Japanese? The word Merry means in Japanese. Okay. Japanese. Are people generally merry if they drink a lot of wine? Are people generally merry if they drink a lot of wine? Yes, people are yes, generally people merry are generally if they drink a lot of wine. Very good. What does the word happy mean in Japanese? What does the word happy mean in Japanese? The word the happy word means, happy means uh, in, in Japanese. Japanese. Very good. Do you feel sad when you go on holiday? Do you feel sad when you go on holiday? No, no I, don't I don't feel sad, sad when, I, when go, I go on holiday. I feel happy. I feel happy. Very good. And that's the end of our revision. Let's have new words. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. okay. Repeat together. Together. Apart. Apart. Uh, apart from. Apart from. Very good. Okay, listen. Together is an adverb, which means with each other. Apart is the opposite of together. Apart from means to be away from something or someone, or to live in a different house from someone. For example, I don't live together with my family. I live apart from my family. Another meaning of apart from is, for example, I eat bread and vegetables apart from me. I don't study anything apart from english okay let's practice okay so are my hands apart are my hands apart no your hands aren't apart they are together they are together wait one more no your hands aren't apart they are together very good do you live apart from your family do you live apart from your family yes or no your mother and uh, yes, father. I live, yes, I live I, apart from my family. I live apart from my family. Very good. Are you in that room together with other people? Are you in that room together with other people? Yes or no? No, I'm I not. Don't, I'm not in this I'm room this together room. with other people. With other people. Very good. What do you eat for your lunch apart from me? What do you eat for your lunch apart from me? I eat bread, I vegetables. Eat, uh, Oh, no, no, no. Uh, but your what do you really eat aside from meat? Oh, I eat. I eat rice and apart from oh, what else? Fish. Fish. Very good. Apart. Uh, apart one more. From, uh, I eat rice and fish. I eat rice and fish for my lunch. From, for my lunch. Apart from meat. Apart from meat. Very good. Do you study anything apart from English? Do you study anything apart from English? Yes or no. Uh, yes, I study, I study something study apart from English. Apart from English. Apart from me, is anybody in this room sitting? Apart from me, is anybody in this room sitting? No. Apart from you, apart from nobody in that room is sitting. That room is sitting. Very good. Who lives in your house or who lives in your flat apart from you? Who lives in your flat apart from you? Nobody. Uh, neighbor. Or, Neighbor is living apart from me. Ah, so like, well, okay, very good. So apart from me, very good neighbors. Okay, next. 
Repeat. Better than. Better than. Worse than. Worse than. Pole. Pole. Very good. Okay, listen. We use the words better than when we are comparing one thing or person with another. So, two things. For example, you speak Japanese well. You speak English well enough. Or we can say, you speak Japanese better than you speak English. Worse than is the opposite of better than. For example, I speak English worse than I speak Filipino. A pole is a noun, which means a place found at either ends of the world. For example, the North Pole and the South Pole. The North Pole and the South Pole. The North Pole isn't a better place to live in than Paris. It's a worse place to live in than Paris. Okay, so let's practice. Do you speak English better than Japanese? Do you speak English better than Japanese? No, I no, don't speak I, English better English than better Japanese. Japanese. I speak Speak it worse I speak it than worse Japanese. Than Japanese. Wait, do you think Tokyo is a worse place to live in than the North Pole? Do you think Tokyo is a worse place to live in than the North Pole? No, I no, don't think I don't Tokyo think is a worse Tokyo place to live in than the North in. Pole. I think it's a better place to live in than the North Pole. The North Pole. Is Toyota a better car than a Rolls Royce? Is Toyota a better car than a Rolls Royce? No, a Toyota no, isn't a, Toyota a better car than a Rolls Royce. It's a worse car than a Rolls Royce. Oh, my car is Toyota. Okay, next. Okay. <laughs> is the Cinema A a worse cinema than Cinema B? Is the Cinema A a worse cinema than Cinema B? No, the Cinema no. A isn't a worse no. cinema than the Cinema B. Oh, no, the Cinema no. A isn't a worse cinema than Cinema B. It's a better cinema than Cinema B. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Capital letter. Capital letter. Very good. Okay, listen. We use the capital letter or the big letter of the alphabet at the beginning of a sentence when we write the pronoun I and for the first letters of people's names, place names, days of the week, months of the year, nationalities, and languages. Yeah, let's practice. When do we use capital letters? When do we use capital letters? We use Capital letters capital at, the letter at the beginning of a sentence for the pronoun I and for the first letter of people's names, of people's names. Place, names. place names, days of the week, months the of, the of the year, month of the nationalities year. and languages. Very good. Can I repeat the best? The best. The worst. The worst. Very good. Okay, listen. The best is an adjective, which is the superlative of good. Good, better, best. The worst is the opposite of best. For example, Kyoto is the best place in Japan to live in. English was my best subject at school. Mathematics was my worst subject at school. Let's practice. Where do you think's the best place in your country to live? Where do you think's the best place in your country to live? I think. I think the best place to live is Niigata. In my, in my I think the best place I think in my country to live in, in my country is, to live in is Niigata. Oh, your hometown. Very good. Very cold there. Okay, next. Yeah. <laughs> Which do you think's the worst day of the week? Which do you think is the worst day of the week? I think. I think the worst day of the week is. is what's that? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Thursday? Thursday. Well, first time I heard of like in the middle of the week. Very good. <laughs> okay, next. What was your best subject at school? What was your best subject at school? The best, oh, best my, subject. My best subject my best, at school my was. Best subject, 
Goku was Japanese. Japanese. Oh, that's very <laughs> difficult. Okay. Next. What was your worst subject at school? What was your worst subject at school? My worst subject. My worst at school sh- was subject at school is was gymnasium. Was gym gymnastic. Was. Gymnastic. Oh, that's very difficult. I can't do <laughs> acrobat. <laughs> very good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Mm-hmm. Very good. It's a good thing there's no acrobat in the Philippines. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> so our reading is at stage three, paragraph page 133. Last head words was a lot of both and. Start with the fifth question. Do you put a lot of butter on your bread? Oh, wait, uh, uh, stage three. No. Mm-hmm. Paragraph page 133. Okay. Okay. And the head word was at the group of a lot of both and. And then after that, start on the fifth question. Do you put a lot of butter? Uh, what I see now is 136. Oh, 133. 133. One th- eh, really? Wait a minute. Maybe oh. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, I start at 133. So, so I should read 133? That's correct. Start at 133. Okay, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. What can we use instead of many and much? Okay, start at the fifth question. So that's the first question. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Do you put a lot of butter? Uh, do you put a lot of butter on your bread? <laughs> yes, I put a lot. Mm, yes, I put a lot of butter on my bread. Very good. No, I. No, I don't put a lot of butter on my bread. Do we use our mouth for both eating and speaking? Yes, we use our mouth for both eating and speaking. Mm -hmm. Can you speak both Chinese and Italian? No, I can't speak both Chinese and Italian. I speak only Italian. Mm -hmm. A lot. Do you go to the cinema a lot? Yes, I go to the cinema a lot. No, I don't go to the cinema a lot. Do you read a lot? Yes, I read a lot. Should I read both of the answers? You can either uh, read both or you can choose one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you eat a lot? Yes, I eat a lot. Does he or she eat a lot? Yes, he or she eats a lot. Do you use your mobile phone a lot? Yes, I use my mobile phone a lot. If must either or bar, pub, restaurant. Do you want anything to eat at the moment? No, I don't want anything to eat at the moment. If she or if he or she wants to something to eat, where must he or she go? If he or she wants to something to eat, he or she must go either uh, home. You, you or... can choose. You can choose he or she. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we stop there for today. But very good, very good reading, very yeah. good dictation, and very good practice.